This is Iricorn. What are you talking about? Iricorn, uh, you know, like from the movie. Oh, right, in the movie. Yeah. I'm Grumpy. Hey, Grumpy. Yeah, actually, I'm Pog Grape, but I play the role of Grumpy. We got that leg of lamb around here in somewhere? The film. Oh, yeah, I'm over here. I'm sitting on the couch. That's Randolph right there. That's Randolph, and yeah. he's, he's a wise man. Yeah, he's a wise guy. Did he bring presents to the baby Jesus? No. Hey, but look at this. This is really... I'm, you know, they're laughing I never, at each other. I, I didn't never, hear any, like, joke or anything. I didn't get this joke at all. Have you ever ever happens to you tell your uncle a joke and he just laughs too long? But nobody told a joke. They just right. looked at each other. This set right here. Right. You know, this this was actually uh, Bob's backyard. You remember when we couldn't we couldn't get the location in Old Zealand? Yeah, we couldn't get the location because they were using it for, what, King Kong? Yeah, I think so. We went out and got this... Uh, this tent at Home Depot. Yeah, I remember that. We yep. had to put it in my pickup. Yep. Good thing I have a pickup, but we couldn't have made this film. Did you see the axe I get to carry around in this film? Yeah, was that really metal? Is that gorgeous or what? Was that really metal? Well, didn't you hear it clank? Wait yeah. till I come in, you'll hear it clank. I'll hear it clank. Oh, it so were there work. were there engravings all over that axe? And... Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And they, it was instructions for how to open a coconut. You know, there was, there in was, Elvish. there was like, there was like, uh, engraving in my sword. It was amazing. It, really? it, you never even saw it on film. Really? Yeah, but they took the time to, you know, put those little inscriptions in there and everything. Yeah? Yep. What yep. did they say? Use wisely. So here we are in the forest. This was actually in a, uh, a park behind Bob's house. I think I could have been Randall. Because it was, uh, the, 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 this location was booked in Old Zealand. So, uh, okay. We had a little problem, you see, because as we were going to the shoot that day in Old Zealand... Yeah? He, uh, he stopped at 7-Eleven. Uh-oh, got a big Slurpee? Yeah! He, oh, it was a super big gulp. Oh, yeah. It was like, you know, one of those 72-ounce cups. And then we're on the helicopter for an hour and a half, and then we're, you know, the dog sleds for three hours, and by the time we started shooting, you know, he was already, he was like 12 ounces left. Were you really all that hungry in this scene? I was. Do you know why? Uh, why? Because you missed meatloaf night? No, 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 no. They got the, you know, the quilted truck. The truck that comes by with all the food in it, and it's shiny, and it looks like it's quilted. Oh, the happy, uh, happy belly taco, taco wagon. Yeah, the taco wagon. I keep missing it. So, did you have problems with the ice cream truck I when you were a kid? I never caught up with the ice cream truck. Oh, I had to I had to plan ahead. I had to look down the street and visualize where he was going next. And then I would head there. Wayne Gretzky said the key to hockey is to go where the puck is going to be. Not where the puck is. Really? Yeah, and it's the same thing with ice cream trucks. And I tried to do it with the quilted truck here. So I could get my tacos and I wouldn't be so hungry that it would affect the storyline. But every time I tried to go where the truck was going to be, I was on the set of a different movie and they'd kick me out. What on earth possessed these trees to blow raspberries at us like that? That's their, their native tongue. Really? Yep. Oh, this is so sweet. Well, he sings like that. Yeah. Like a little Michael Jackson when he was young and happy. Here comes the eagle. This is pretty exciting. I don't know. Why did we have to jump backwards? Um, well, we didn't have to. It just made it more fun. To jump backwards? Yeah. Is fun? Yeah, jumping. It's like That's riding a, it's like rolling, fun? it's like riding a roller coaster backwards. Uh-huh. I couldn't read this at all. And I strongly suspect that he couldn't read it either. You think he was just making this up? Well, there was a guy, there was a stagehand holding up the script right off screen there, right in front of him so he could just read it. Oh, it sounded good, but he couldn't read the language. It was just, you know, like, they got all that Elvish stuff, and it's like, oh yeah, like, they really know what they're saying. They're just making it up. They're just, you know, just making stuff up like that. Were you making that up? Because that right. sounded like the Declaration of Independence in Latvian. There he goes. He's so brave. That's I actually started to cry in that scene. I was so yeah, moved. That was moving. They had to rotoscope it out. Yeah. I actually wandered off. I lost interest. They rotoscoped that out too. So we can go home now, right? 
This is a good acting moment for you. Yeah, I worked on this. I had to imagine the saddest thing that ever happened to me. And what was that? That was when we were in dance class and they wouldn't let me do jazz. That's Mr. Lunt, isn't it, Mr. Lunt? That's Mr. Lunt with a really bad haircut. Man, what happened to him? I mean, jeepers. He just, he let himself go for the he show. He sure did. He I looked think it, like Marlon Brando like... in his later years. He, uh, you know, he... He went a while letting himself go for this. I, I don't think I saw him out of... He, he stayed in his room for like six months. Yeah, he stayed just in eating, his room. Just eating pudding. And Krispy Kremes. Yep. Was pudding and Krispy Kremes. I like his outfit, though. It's kind of rustic. Yeah, he's at... You know, he's getting in shape. He's going to be in the next show. He's running on a treadmill there. Yeah. On a treadmill on the back of a pickup truck. It was my pickup truck. This was the part where I was going to dance. I was going to do an interpretive dance for the Land of Wall. A ja- on... jazz dance? Yes, it was jazzish. Ja- jazzish. But they wouldn't let me. That's the first time I really got to use my sword. Do you remember how they made Bill Boy shorter? Did they actually amputate the bottom of his stalk? No, they just had a cummerbund. They like like tied the cummerbund on the wrong way. Come again? A cummerbund? You know like the thing you get for a tuxedo that you put around your waist? And then it's you shorter? Yeah, well, when you wrap it underneath yourself, and he's got like uh, some elastic, some bungee cords running up the back of his neck. Yeah? And just compressing him. It's, it's a good thing we don't have vertebrae, or else it would have, I think, wow. probably done some damage. I'm glad nobody compressed me with a cummerbund. Wow, you'd think he'd be showing some visible signs of discomfort. So for this show, I actually had to learn how to ride a unicycle and play a guitar. You did? Yeah. Well, it comes very naturally to you. Why, well, thank I you. Tried I tried to ride a get. unicycle once and I just couldn't do it. I just, it seems impossibly hard to me. You hey, could... it's over. Look at that. That's the end. Well, it was great talking with you guys. Yeah, thanks. Okay. See we... you next time. See you next time. Goodbye. It's a long shot.